Welcome to MacroCode. If you are new to this channel, consider subscribing. So today we are going to continue with our series on .NET MAUI. So as you can see, we have our app that we have been building over time. So if you are new to this channel, consider subscribing and watching our previous videos. So we realize that you guys are watching our videos and you don't subscribe. Please uh, subscribe to support our channel. So as you can see, we have employees list. So you can be able to add a new employee, providing the first name, middle name, last name, email address, and date of birth. Then uh, we have also a list of countries. So we, we can add a country that you can see we, are, we, have, uh, we are actually having a collection view. So if you click new, then you can add a country code and the country name then you'll be able to see the list of countries that you have added here. Then you have the constituencies. You can see the constituencies. Now for the constituencies, you actually select the country, then you tie it to your, to your constituency. Then we have the same for the locations. You add a location, then you select the constituency, then you add it. Then we have the same for the villages and uh, sublocations. So today we are going to do something interesting. As you can see on our on our previous videos, we have been actually populating data in a collection view. So I'm going to change this today. We want to show this data in a grid view. So you can see we have James Kimani Karanja in a collection view. So to begin with, I'm going to navigate to my list. So this is my list. So this is how my uh, employee list uh, looks like. So for this employee list, we are using a collection view, you can see here. But before that, I'm going to define now a grid. So, but before the grid, I want us to have a search uh, bar. So we'll add a search bar, so we can give the search bar a name. So we'll say name, then you can call it a search. Then we can have a text. So this is the text that we will be having, our, that the, 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 that we will be typing in. Then we'll actually search our employees based on the data that has been provided by the user. So placeholder, then we can have it as search employee. Then we can also have, uh, we can say font size. Font size, we can call that, we can have it as small. Then we can now close our, our search. So we have actually now closed our search. So we can do this to close the first tag. So this is our search bar. So whenever we launch our app, we'll be able to see this uh, search. But before we launch it, let's create a grid. So we want to display our data in a grid view. So we'll create a grid, then we can define the margin. So for, for me, I'll just have it as a 5.5. Five. Then I'll also have the height request as a, a 30. Then uh, row definitions as a auto. Then I'll also want the column definitions as a 30 star, comma 30 star, 30 star. So we'll be having four columns. So we'll be having four columns. Then we can have also have the background color, you can say uh, green. So you can specify that is our background color and you can also close our, our grid. So this is how our grid looks like. Then we now need to have the labels. So these labels are the headers for our uh, uh, data grid. So I'm going to define the text. So the text will be, I want to display the first name as the first column. Then, uh, so this will be our columns and the headers. So the text color, I can say black. Then I also want to define the font attributes. You can say a bold. Then I want to display the horizontal text alignment should be at the start. Then uh, the grid, now I want to specify where the label is, should be the grid row, zero, that is our first uh, row, then the grid dot column, so our column should be the first column, so that is our first name. So we can close that, that way, then let me zoom this so that you can be able to see clearly. So if I just copy this, so I'll copy, 
as I had indicated, we'll be having four headers. So the first one is the first name, then we'll be having the middle name, then the last name, then uh, the date of birth. So I'll call that the DOB. So this one should be the first row, then the second column. This should be the first row, then the third column, and this should be the first row and the fourth column. So this will be should will be third. Remember, actually, the, it is starting from 0, 1, 2, 3. So this is our header. So we have actually defined the header. So we want now to define the data that will be mapped to our headers. So come to our collection view. So this is our collection view. Remember, the item source is getting from the employees. And we can have this as more, then we can say two way. Then, uh, so I'm going to do away with the frame. So I'm not going to do uh, now using the frame. So I'm going to use, uh, I'm going to define a data grid here. So I'll just define the grid, sorry, grid. Then I'll have uh, my uh, margin, I'll define my margin. So my margin, I can say 10, 30, then 0, 0. Then I can say a uh, row spacing. I can have it as four. Then row definitions. I can have it as auto. Then my column definitions. I can have it as a uh, thirty star. Sorry, comma thirty star. Remember we have four columns. So that is our, our uh, columns should be equal, then the vertical option should be a fill and expand. So I can also close our grid. So inside the grid, we now need to define the labels that will, will actually follow what we had defined on our, our headers. So our first label should be, so we'll take the text. So remember we have, the, so I will copy this, should be the text. Then that is our first name. Then I'll say font attributes should be uh, bold. Then uh, grid now, grid dot row. This should be our first row. So I'll say row. This should be our second row, I mean. So our grid column dot column. This should be our first column. So then we can close that. So I I prefer closing this way, so I'll just do that. So I'll copy this, uh, one, two, three. So this should be four. So, and it should actually resemble, so then the second one is the middle name as we had done here. Then the third one is the last name as we had done here. Then the fourth one is the date of birth. But now the grid, the row is the first row and the column should be the first, the second column. This, the grid row should be the first row and the column should be the third column. The, the, the last one should be the first row and it should be actually the second row. These are actually the second rows and then the fourth column. So then I'll do away with my frame. So I'll just do away with my frame. Then I'll remain with my grid. So this is my grid inside the data template. So if we just launch our screen, our mobile app, then we'll be expecting the data to be in grid view. So I'll just launch, then we see how it works. So I'll just... So I'll just launch. We we'll see what will happen. So as our app launches, guys, for those who are new to this channel, like our video and subscribe so that you can be able to reach more people and if you find the video more interesting then you comment down below on what you recommend us to do on our next video so you can see guys this is our employees list and you can see it is now giving us the first name the middle name the last name and the date of birth so you can see it is now showing and you can see our search so we can actually uh, have a search here uh, we can type it and then we can be able to see. So you can change our, so there is something that you need to notice, guys. You can see our grid, it doesn't have the lines. So it doesn't have the, uh, the lines showing that this is a grid. So I want us to do something. 
So inside our data template, inside the grid, we can define a box view. So it's say box, box view, then height request, I'll say uh, 0 0.1. Then, uh, I mean, this should be height request, yes. Then the background color, I want this to be black. That is this, the stripes should be black so that to differentiate the first, uh, the rows, then I want also to define the grid dot spacing, column spacing, I want it to be, let's have it as five. Then uh, the vertical options, I want it to start. Then I can close it. So I'll close it. So that is it. So you can relaunch our app. We see if we have our grids. So you see, so this is now how our app looks like. So let's see if everything works well. So as our app launches. So let's see, let's see. You can see guys, we have now the, uh, the you can see we have now a line at the top of every row. So you can see we are, we are having the first name, middle name, last name, and the date of birth. So we have been able to define the, the, the grid. So we can do the same for other video, videos. So if you are new to this channel, consider watching. So we'll be doing the same for other 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 section, but we can actually we can actually do that. So we can copy these. So we can copy, we can copy these. Then we'll be just replacing. So then we'll start with our countries. So this is how our countries list looks like. So I'll just, uh, let me just start by the headers. So I'll come to our employees list. So I'll take my research and the, my search and the grid, then come to our countries. Then inside here, I'll have it there. So we'll be having our, our search. So we'll say search country. So the country will be having only two, two headers. So we'll have the code and the name. So we'll, we'll have the country. So we'll say country, country name and the country code. Country code. So I'll just do away with others. So we remain only with these two. So then I'll have the definition. So because this is two, I love these as, uh, I love these as 50, then these as 50. So that is it. Then uh, under countries, I'll need now to define our grid. So I'll just copy this grid that we have done. Come to our countries list. Then I'll replace it here. Then I'll only need the code and the name. So then I'll do away with my frame. So then I'll do away with the rest. I remain with only two grids. Then I'll, I'll actually define my spacing, be 50. Sorry. So I'll do 50. Then I'll do this 50. So then if we try now, if we try to launch our app, we should be able to see that our country's list is not, uh, is actually in a, a grid. So that is how you do a grid in .NET My. But in case you have any comments, you can comment down below. So if I come to countries, I'll be able to see my countries. You can see I have the uh, KE, then this is my list of countries. So that is how it looks. So if you're new to this channel, consider subscribing and watching our previous uh, videos. So this is how you can see we have the, the, the rows. And this is how our app looks like. So we can also do the same for the rest. So I'll just copy this, come to constituencies, come to constituencies. So let's go to constituencies list. So I'll just replace it here. Then I'll rename this to constituency. Constituency. 
then I'll just say this is list is should be here. Then uh, the rest should remain. So I'll just do away with my collection view. Then we, you can see we have the search. Then I'll have my constituency code and the constituency name, then the list of constituencies, then this is the code and the name. So if we launch our app, we should be able to, we should be able to see the list of con constituencies. So we can also do here a mod. So let's see if our app launches. So we can do here mod, then two way. So if we, our app launches, so if we come to constituencies, you can see we have the constituency code and the constituency name. And if you can see at the top, we have a search. We have a search. Uh, so we'll be able to see this, how we can be able to search the data inside this uh, data grid. So we can do the same for, for locations. So our locations, so I'll just copy this. Then I'll uh, paste it here so that we go first then locations, then I'll just copy the, these and paste it here. Then this should be location name. Then I'll just say location code and the location, location and name. So then here I'll say such location, then I'll just get away with my data grid, my uh, frame. Then uh, this is how the data will look. Then if I launch the app, we should be able to see our 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 locations in a data grid so i think that is it for today guys so if you are new to this channel subscribe and keep watching our videos so this is day uh day eight of dotnet mavi so if you can see locations you have the location code and the location name so if we try to come to count employees you can see we have the new employees if we add a new employee this should be Caleb Opio Njau. Then we'll say test at gmail.com. Then we'll select the date of birth. Then if we save, sorry. So if we save this, it will take us. Yeah, I think we had not done that, but we'll be able to see that on our next few. But you can see we have the data here. Caleb Opio Njau. And this is the data that has been displayed so we'll be able to see how we can style our app so that it looks a better so see you in our next video and keep subscribing bye